Good morning everyone, Matthew Rill here from HealthyCubicle.com. I love my coffee in the morning. I'm not sure if it's because of the sights or the sounds or the smell or how it makes me feel. But like most people who work in an office, uh, I do tend to have one or two cups uh, to start off my day. And it's a major part of my day. But I've always wondered, does coffee cause cancer? Uh, anyway, I have started to look into that at, at length. And uh, the answer is some great news. The answer is no. Uh, I'll link to a great article in the Journal of Nutrition and Cancer uh, that uh, will help summarize and give more details for this. But let me give you a general overview of uh, several different cancers and some of the research. Pancreatic cancer, 66 different studies, no evidence of increased cancer risk. And in fact, in uh, Japanese men, and Japan is a relatively new country of coffee drinkers, actually shows a reduced risk of cancer in men. Renal cell or kidney cancer, 26 studies, no relationship with cancer. Colorectal cancer, which is a, a major killer in the United States, no increased risk and perhaps a tend to, uh, tendency of reduced risk. Breast cancer for women, a major cancer in women, uh, generally no increased risk. And for women with a high risk gene uh, called a BRCA mutation, uh, there is actually a dose dependent reduced risk. The more coffee you drink, the less risk you have. Uh, same thing goes with things such as ovarian cancer and endometrial cancer for women, no increased risk across the board. Liver cancer, which is associated with things like uh, cirrhosis, perhaps because of the anti-inflammatory effects of coffee, uh, no increased risk of liver cancer. Gastric or, summer, or uh, stomach cancer, uh, no increased risk with 23 studies being pooled. Prostate cancer for men, the studies are not quite as consistent, but there does appear to be uh, no tendency of increased risk of prostate cancer in men. Uh, the only two qualifications I can come up with is that pregnant women uh, are heavy coffee drinkers. In their children, there might be a slight increased risk of blood disorders. So uh, probably not wise for pregnant women to be heavy coffee drinkers. And in uh, one or two studies have shown, though not consistently, a slight increased risk of bladder cancer in men. Uh, so what's this all mean and, and what's the concern with coffee and cancer? Well, there have been animal studies that have evaluated the caffeine molecule, uh, which has shown uh, a tendency of increased risk in cancer from caffeine. But this is caffeine and this is coffee, an organic substance. Uh, Coffee has many different substances in it other than caffeine. Uh, it has antioxidants, it has uh, detriptylenes, it has um, uh, uh, a wide array of other active substances. And some of those have been shown to protect against cancer. Uh, Cafestol and Cowiol uh, are uh, found in oils, decreased mutagenesis. Uh, Ditropines uh, decrease the toxicity of carcinogens and uh, the antioxidants such as uh, caffeic acid and cholerogenic acid can decrease DNA uh, degeneration. So when you're drinking coffee, you're not drinking caffeine. You're drinking caffeine mixed with some very potentially uh, protective uh, substances uh, for uh, cancer. So anyway, at least for me, uh, I now feel very comfortable having two or three cups of coffee a day and uh, I hope this helps you feel a little more comfortable too. Cheers.